I greatly appreciate DDAP, Department of Aging, Department of Human Services for inviting me here today as we highlight the important resources for grandparents raising grandchildren and what more we can do to support these grandparents and other kin caregivers. I first became aware of this issue over five years ago when I was fortunate enough to meet several heroes in my community, grandparents just like Mrs. Shanahan, who stepped up to raise their grandchildren when the overdose crisis reached their families. Brenda, John, and Beth. I had the opportunity to meet them. They told me their story. It was heartbreaking. I asked them if they would be willing to come to Harrisburg and provide testimony. They said, absolutely. We had a hearing here in Harrisburg. There wasn't one dry eye in the house. Because of that, it then spurred on the initiative of developing several pieces of legislation. This goes back to 2018 when we created those important resources. It was a bipartisan package. The first, you heard about PA Kin Connector, the program to connect caregivers and resources and assistance. Prior to those bills, that wasn't available. We also created what was called the temporary guardianship for grandparents when those parents of those children are unable to care for them due to substance abuse or other, other tragedies. And we also authorized the Joint State Government Commission to do a study of the trends in grandparents raising grandchildren, which reported its findings and the recommendations to the General Assembly in 2019. This package was a tremendous start, but as we've seen today, we continue to hear from grandparents and kinship givers struggling to access the resources they need and deserve as they take care of their family members' children. Because of that piece of legislation, those three pieces of legislation that we passed, we were also able to, in Luzerne County, developed the Advocacy Fund for Grandparents Raising Grandchildren. And it was a way to pay for some of the legal costs when grandparents had to deal with adoption or custody or temporary guardianship. We have grown to the point where we have spent well over $25,000 helping grandparents and we continue our efforts. These kin caregivers along with as the 2019 Joint State Government Commission report and the Family Support Alliance have all identified advancing access to legal assistance for kin caregivers as an important next step for Pennsylvania policy. Luzerne County is the only county that provides some or a portion of the legal fees in order to proceed in those legal uh, operations. That's why earlier this year, I introduced new legislation to assist kinship caregivers facing legal and financial challenges when a child has been placed in their care. Specifically, my bill, House Bill 2858, would create a civil legal services for kinship care family grant program that will award grant funds to nonprofit organizations to provide the legal services and other assistance to kinship care families Despite, uh, desperately in need across Pennsylvania. Inspired by the statewide program in Georgia, this legal assistance can support kinship caregivers establish a legal relationship with the child in their care, as well as accessing available financial supports and care for the child's mental and educational needs. Many kinship families are low-income households already facing complex issues and aren't equipped to navigate the cumbersome legal process on their own. This legal assistance will allow at-risk children to stay in stable family environments, relieving excessive pressure on the foster care system. In 2023, I'm ready to continue the efforts, do whatever it takes to advance this legislation, and build upon all the important work that has been done by Governor Wolf's administration to take on the overdose crisis 
and help the rising number of grandparents raising grandchildren because of it.